on a really, really good day, you can see straight across to Helensburg. Watch the tugs going up and down. My husband used to work on the, the MOD boats, the black and yellow boats that go up and down here. Many's a time I used to open the window and wave a dish towel out when he would toot the horn and let me know he was on his way wherever he was. I was born in the East End. I was born at Terrace Road in the East End 74 years ago. And I went to school in the East End with my brother. My parents were blitzed from the East End and we wouldn't change schools. We still walked to school. Um, still knew the people in the area. Everybody would stop and talk to us. I love this place with passion. If I won the lottery tomorrow, I'm staying where I am. They'll take me out of here feet first. It's as simple as that. Or they'll have to knock the building down with me in it. From my window at the moment, I'm looking at the same vision that we have in our drawings, our designs, our garden. This massive piece of ground will be turned into allotments. It will be turned into a play park for the children, something that is very sadly lacking here for the young kids that live here. Uh, we've got some seats and benches for people to sit and admire this fantastic view. We we'll hopefully have a little community cafe up and running for people. Once people see what can be done with a piece of what you would say was just a tipping ground, if people use their vision and look ahead, it's there. When we started out, it was a sort of a step in the dark and it was like trial and error. I'm not doing it on my own. I couldn't do it on my own. So I sort of moved into this area. I've never really felt as if I belonged anywhere. And no. I've come here, I feel as if I belong. And I feel as if I've got an extended family now. Hey, you've heard of Jacqueline, Jack and Victoria on. <laughs> this is Jacqueline and Victoria when we get started. Get you a rest. What about me? <laughs> what I have is the passion and the tongue to go and stand up and talk. I could talk for Scotland, but I want to talk for the Belleville Community Association. And I think it worked at the last round up. I brought along a model of the area which we had made. It's even got the little burnt out church. It's got all the high rises. I said we have been given courtesy of the big lottery, £49,000, but it doesn't stop there. I go under the table and I come out and I slammed on the table a dead plant, as dead as a dodo. It was, all the leaves was brown and hanging over the place. And I said, but that's what's going to happen if the money dries up. And then I sat down and I thought, what have you done? The next thing we knew, 610,000 <laughs> pounds. But it's frightening. It's, it, it, it's exciting and it's scary, but it's frightening. The bleak view would be if they split up communities and send them in among strangers after living 30, 40 years in the one place. Instead of keeping the people that know each other together, that's what makes a community. I'm looking forward to getting started on this in May. In fact, I'd go over and blow the last three flats up myself if I thought we could get rid of them quicker. Poverty doesn't make an area. It's the community spirit that makes an area. And if you've got something like this, and you've got pieces of land that can be turned into something worthwhile, i.e. allotments where they can grow their own uh, vegetables. Quite a lot of young men on their own live in this area. We're having lessons and showing them how to make a pot of soup, how to make basic food. We've got bramble trees down there. We're going to start hoping to use that and making jam once we're up and around. We've got all, we're way ahead with our ideas. So it's all there. So really, forget about the poverty. We're thinking about what we can do with the resources we have. Oh, we've had our good times, we and we've had our hard times. Oh, there, I think yeah. things, things have got over. to go ahead now. It, it's, it's, to me, it, I, I think somebody had asked me how we felt about this. I says, once the euphoria of knowing that we'd won this money over, X amount of other organisations. Yes, you know, the Belleville, the Belleville. After the shock, the when we come back to it, I found it quite scary, mm. but exciting. What are we going to do with this money? But we've, got, we've got good backup. That's it. All I want is to have a little seat there 
where I can sit and watch that beautiful view of the Clyde.